Hey YouTube, how you doing today? It's Chris aka Mr. Ramon420 again for the fourth and final time today. I swear there's not going to be more videos for me unless if... no, no, there, there shouldn't. Um, I'm doing this video in response to Dyslexic Nick's Alphabet of Awesome movies. Now, a lot of people have put up a lot of great films and we're already up to see my thing my selection for C will be tomorrow. If you're stopped now, and and I'm I'll probably be doing it, you know, a, a, a DVD update for the month of uh, January. Okay. Now I could have gone with a few choices. I could have gone with the you know Blade Runner, the uh, special five disc Blu-ray edition. Would have been sweet. I could have gone with Bronson because I'm a fan of film and Tom Hardy's performance. It is just phenomenal. If you liked him in Inception, check him out in Bronson. It's a 180 from what he does. It's just, just demented, but enjoyable. Um, I decided to go with the classic. Not so much a real classic, but I'm all for this. And it's, it's been a few years now. I've seen this film so many times. Pretty sure I've worn out the uh, the DVD box. From opening so many damn times. Uh, it's a vi vampire film. Uh, it's one of the only vampire films I actually enjoy watching aside from Near Dark. Um, and it's one of the only good performances that Wesley Snipes ever put out. Now I know he's been in a lot of films, but don't you say to yourself when a Wesley Snipes film comes on and it's not from the 90s, you say, oh, there he is. He's he must be working off a jail sentence, paying off those IRS debts. Yeah, yeah, that's that's what it was at this time. Um, this film just really showed what he could do, you know, with martial arts and you know vampires and the CGI was actually pretty interesting in it. Um, I was a fan of, I always will be a fan of. This is one of those films I just mm, won't leave my side. It is the first, the original, the one and only, Blade. Blade. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Blade. And, um, great film, unfortunately, it wasn't a big success in the box office. You know, it could have been bigger. It could have been a lot better for advertisement. Um, what was so great about this film was that it gave Wesley a performance where he can show off what he has you know, to show that he was a, you know, a bad motherfucker. Plus the fact that it showed Stephen Dorff and a lot of us never really paid attention. I mean, he's done these bad boy roles before, but how many of us actually remember, you know, the great performances in, um, there was, um, Oh, and there was, and there was that too. See, it's, and of course, yeah, leave, leave your comments as, you know, what he was really good in before, so I can remember, because I seriously don't have a fucking clue. Um, so that is my choice. I hope you like it. If not, um, you know what to do. Rate, comment and subscribe. Tell your friends about me, tell your parents, don't tell the kids because I use dirty language and I don't want them to be influenced and you say, you, you told my son to say butt fucking cocksucker. Because <laughs> I just said that. Um, I don't know what my section for C is, will be, it might be casino, probably not because I just said that. Until next time, everyone have a great day and a good time. And, uh, you know, peace, love, and soul.